Hi guys, it's Natasha Dean and I am talking today about my novel uh, In the Key of Naragani and specifically what it means to write contemporary fiction or uh, fiction that's based in reality and for those of you who are writers and want to explore that genre, what are some things that you kind of want to keep in mind when you're doing it. One of the first things to remember to keep in mind as a writer of all genres, but especially with contemporary fiction, is to be a watcher and be a listener. Because people will tell you about themselves uh, through the things that they say, and they will tell you about themselves through the things that they do. And especially if you're paying attention and you see the thing that they are saying and the thing that they are doing, and there's a gap. And in the gap is the truth of the person. And when we're talking about writing characters uh, and doing contemporary fiction, you want to know where the gap is because the gap is the secret of the character. The gap is the thing that's going to keep the readers interested and keep them turning the page. So a really quick example is things like uh, if you're in the mall or you're, you're in a restaurant and you're just sort of looking around, um, look at how people sit together. So people who are getting along will mimic each other's behaviors. So if someone picks up a cup, the other person picks up a cup. If one person leans forward, the other person leans forward. If one person leans back, the other person leans back. When people are not getting along, uh, one person will lean forward and the other person will lean back because there's this space they want to create with themselves. So being a watcher and being a listener means that at any point in time, we can take these pieces out of reality and thread them into a book um, and create these characters that seem very, very real to life and very true to real life experience because they are inspired by real life and true life experience. Uh, one of the things that you want to think about and keep in mind when you're, you're doing stuff that's based off of real life events or is inspired by true life events is to not laundry list what's going on. So by that, I mean, you know, when we think of the experience, uh, you know, we have like this thing happened and then this happened and then she said and then he said and then they said and then this happened and this happened and this happened, which is great for a, a sort of a recounting of the event. But because you only have so many pages in your story, because you only have this finite space to tell your story, what you want to do is just take the kernel of it. What is the feeling that you are trying to evoke? What is the image that you want? Uh, and it's kind of like a patchwork quilt kind of thing. You know, you're going to take uh, this experience and you're going to meld it with this thing that someone said. And then you're going to stitch it together with this thing that some other person did. And from there you get your story. The other thing that you want to keep in mind, it's kind of a twofold. So one is to be really patient with yourself and two, to be okay if you have to start and stop and delete and restart and stop again and you know do it all over again. Um, the trick with contemporary fiction is that it has to feel modern, but at the same time, because these books will live on for however many years, it also has to stay fairly classic and fairly universal um, so that you know someone who reads it five years from now it's not going to feel dated. So to that end, you want to think about things like how much slang you use, what kind of uh, fashion you reference, what kind of brand names you reference, because what might be really cool now or might be really relevant now in five or seven years, who's going to know what you're talking about? So you always want to make sure that when you go into the editing, because creating your story is going to be this messy, lovely thing that you do that's going to leave you with like dirt on your face and a skin knee and you're just in the playground playing. Editing, right? When you're editing, look at the vocabulary you use, look at the fashion you list, look at the brands you list, look at all the things that will nail your story as being written in this particular year. And then make the decision if you want it to always stay that way so that people, when they read it 10 years from now, they go, oh yeah, this is definitely a 2019 story. Or do you want them to read the story and even though it was 10 years ago, it feels like it can still be going on now. There's a lot more things involved uh, in writing contemporary fiction and writing realistic fiction. But really, those are the big things I hold to, right? Look, watch, listen pay attention to the world around me, 
Do not laundry list. Take the inspiration and take the kernel and be okay and be patient with myself if I have to start and stop and delete and start again.